Hey, Joker. Hey, Wally. Just sharing things out, and then we'll get started. Hey, baby. Hi. <laughs> You can probably guess what I am right now. Hi. <laughs> yes, and I needed it to get out of my head. Oh, did you happen to check the plans chat? Not recently. Uh, Tiny responded to what you posted, so you may want to check it out. Cowboy John, Azriel, and welcome to the stream. It's just above where I posted the link to the show. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Blood Moon Wrestling Federation's men's show, Blood Fiends, episode 40. I'm your host, Crushing Kelly Black, and my partner in crime, the Chaos Reaper, Atticus Black. What's up? Hey, Lita! Good to see you, sis. Lurk out. Thanks for the like, and I appreciate the lurking. It's all right. Just appreciate you tuning in. Oh, boy. What's up? What as you'll post in the live chat. Hey, Diamond Sky. Okay, Paul, not a problem. Okay, Paul, not a problem. Anywho, as I said, today tonight's our men's show, but we've got a couple bonus matches to get out of the way. Both are tag team matches for the ladies. We're going to have Silent Death take on the Brawling Buttes. Y'all got place your bets in the chat. Thanks for the like and share, AJ. Firestar, welcome to the stream.
coming out first. At five foot six, weighing one hundred and thirty five pounds. From Biloxi, Mississippi, Jade St. Creed. And her tag team partner, five foot six, weighing one hundred and thirty four pounds. From Texas, Whisper Bagwell. Both former Unholy Trinity champions. They are silent death. <laughs> Appreciate it, Patty. And now for their opponents. Coming out at five foot nine, weighing two hundred pounds. From New York, Anya Ali. And her tag team partner at five foot eight, weighing one hundred and thirty pounds. From out of this world, D Hulk Chick. They are the Brawling Buttes. Starting off with Whisper and Anya. Here we go. Whisper set into the corner. Knee to the midsection, then a stomp to the chest. Anya with a power bomb. Out of the corner. Grabs the arm. Arm dragged Whisper. And tagged to D. Lock up. Whisper sends D into the ropes. Slams her under her back, uh, under, back first under the knee, then back first under the mat, then double knees to the midsection. She goes for the quick cover, but two count by D and also a save by Anya. D catches Whisper in a roll up, but Whisper able to kick out. And that looked like an elbow shot to knock down D and Jade with the cheap shot to the back. Hey Jesse, welcome to the stream. Firestar, this is stuff that is out of it from it is that, um, the guy behind the character. This is what Asriel's experiencing will, uh, in real life, Firestar. So, hopefully, this in-character stuff gets people away from any real-life struggles that they're going through at the moment. Covered by Anya. Two count only. Whisper with the shot to the face. Anya with a quick roll up. Kick up by Whisper at one. Anya with the tag to D and tag to Jade. Leaping knee strike doesn't do much. Lock up. Kick in the midsection. DDT by D. Up kick by J. Lock up. D. Drop with the leaping knee strike. J. Flips her over. Twisting the foot and ankle of D. Kick 
out at one. Welcome to the stream, LD and the family. Nice move by D. Only a two count on Jade. Anya now in the match. Jade sends Anya into the corner. Sh up sh a shot to the ch a face. Sends her into the mid turnbuckle and the whip around kick to the face of Anya. But Anya is able to send Jade out of the ring. Jade gets back in. Anya with the shots to the midsection. Hip toss into an elbow drop to the arm. But Anya, now Anya hooks the one arm, snaps the other back. Arm bar onto Jade. Anya with the MMA boxing background. Very good with those submission holds and striking. Jade now into the back in with the sledgehammer. Unable to utilize it, but gets into a striking combo and then a backbreaker onto D. Now she's teeing off on D with that sledgehammer. Jade with a fall for Silent Death. <sighs> they don't have have anything to pro you don't have anything to properly charge it. Launches Anya with a flying shoulder tackle into Jade. Now Jade Eaton punches to the cover by Anya. Two count only on Jade. Anya with the gut shots to Jade. Gut shot, gut shot to the face. Now Jade with some gut shots of her own. Strike to the face. Tagged Whisper. Whisper. Sent into the ropes. Drop down. Another drop down by Anya. Hip toss on to Whisper. Hey Jen. Boot to the face before Anya could utilize that sledgehammer. Hey, Triple B, welcome to the stream. Your guy, Kelly Mabrick, will be in action tonight. Nice suplex into the corner on Anya. Stomp to the back. Jade tagged back in. Massive gut shot and shots to the back with that sledgehammer by Jade. Yeah, this is 23, Triple Beat. I'm not switching to 24 until May. I'm taking the time to be able to get stuff created, recreated and ready and whatnot. So, hey, Daniel Johnson, what's up? Welcome to the stream.
have to put a stretch or a Black Widow submission on the Whisper and may have been busted up by Jade. Or Whisper may have just been edge. Well, she gave in that time to the um, octopus stretch. And that's tied up. <laughs> shot, to the, shot to the face of Anya and picked by Jade. You okay, babe? Yeah. I had something stuck in my fucking throat, didn't remember my fucking mic was on. Uh oh. Sorry, you just made me all choked up, babe. Oh, I am got that effect on you. <laughs> hey, Chokey! I'm doing best golem impression. Leave me alone. Welcome to the stream. Whisper gets tossed out of the ring by D. What's D have in mind? Uh, I mean, no, no. Polly's power. She's choked. Yeah. <laughs> Shoulder tackle through the ropes. Whisper still back up. <laughs> someone did, and someone did the Jedi mind trick on you. <laughs> Stunner onto Anya, knocks her off the ring apron. Was thinking of utilizing the sledgehammer. Their submission onto Whisper, and that is it. Your winners of the match are the Brawling Buttes. Congratulations to Anya and to D. Selkie. Holy force choke, Skywalker! <laughs> Let's just say we're doing the best we can, Daniel. That's all I'm gonna I can say. But congratulations to the brawling buttes. Oh, <laughs> welcome to the stream, Nacho. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Silent Death had the majority of the best by a small margin, but Brawling Buttes get the win. Christopher Hovis, welcome to the stream. Our next bonus match 
newly, no longer the anti-pants brigade, now dubbed the Clown Busters. Super Stevie and Sarah Richards, the Ram Sanguine Seductress's tag team champions, in a non-title match, taking on Hell on Wheels, Carmella Springheel, and Rebel Outlaw. Yes, Nacho, I've got I put her in her second attire, so she's wearing that onesie attire of hers. <laughs> Happy April Fool's Day to you too, Christopher. <laughs> hey, Count. Wild Mad Outlaw in the house. Welcome to the stream. And I know Miss Tilly ain't no, ain't far behind, so welcome, Miss Tilly. You're not starting anything, Christopher. Don't worry. Uh, Jen, she woke up and she had a match this past Friday. Coming out to the ring first. At five foot seven, weighing 150 pounds, from Omaha, Nebraska, she is a former Unholy Trinity champion, Richards. And her tag team partner at five foot six, weighing one hundred pounds, from out of this world, Super Stevie. Both are the reigning Sanguine Seductresses tag team champions. The Clown Buster. Yep, it's PG mode for this matchup. Mess up. Disobey the rules and you will be timed out for 24 hours. Their opponents coming out at 5'7", weighing 133 pounds. From Sioux Falls, South Dakota, Rebel Outlaw. And her tag team partner at 5'6", weighing 134 pounds. From parts unknown, Carmella Springheel. Together they are hell on wheels. Oh wait a minute, heck on wheels. We're be if we're being PG here. My bad. Nacho. I set up this type of entrance for them, and she uh, only did uh, the, sh the swinging of the hips at the start of the entrance. The more swiveling of the hips is uh, was done by Sarah. And I did that out of respect for you because I didn't want your head ready to explode. Hey, 
pecking fudge, Kelly. <laughs> well, I thought this would be a, cute, a fun entrance for a motion for the two of them because they're clown, the clown busters. They come out with the the those smoke guns and they are ready to take down those clowns. Hey, Captain. Back to Stevie. And I'm okay if in my head it explodes. Shulky got the mop. Oh my goodness, not Shulky. <laughs> Oh, Rubble going after Sarah. Belly to back suplex. And Stevie slams Carmella's face onto one of the announce tables. She's not snacking on anything. She's trying to whack them old people with the weapons. That's all. Lock up and sends Rebel back into the ring. Grabs the stop sign. And Rebel able to take that leaping tag to Carmella. As she gets back into the ring, as Stevie gets back into the ring, she gets the punch in the face. But, nope. Stevie able to get her over to her own corner, slammed it her on the turnbuckle. Nice Hurricane Rana takedown. Carmella catching Stevie with the roll up. Only a one count though. Drops her face first onto the knee. Carmella has her by the scruff of the neck. Face first onto the turnbuckle. Tag the rebel. Carmella. Launches Rebel with that flying, uh, a flying shoulder tackle. He be able to have the energy to get a leaping tag to Sarah. Shot to the face. Sends Rebel out of the ring. What she have in mind? Hey, Lisa, throw the ropes and the tornado DDT onto Rebel. the inside of the leg, shot to the face, blocked by Sarah. Fisherman Buster onto Rebel. Oh, dodge. Shot to the face. Rebel has Sarah up. Power bomb. And that's a fall for the hell on wheels. Goes for a pinfall attempt. And gets busted up by Stevie. Grapple from behind. Take down by Rebel. Pinwheeling on the back. And then the smack to the back of the head. Shot to the face. Multiple shots. Chops to the chest. DDT onto Sarah. Stevie yelling at her to get a tag, give her a tag. Sarah with the elbow strikes to the midsection. Shot to the face. Has Rebel by the scruff of the neck. Face first into the turnbuckle. Tag to Stevie. Set up. Backbreaker onto Rebel. Off the mid rope. The elbow drop by Stevie. Rebel having to roll out of the ring. Stevie springboard off the top with a, onto Rebel. Nice move. Leg caught though. To the inside of the leg. Shot to the face. 
knee to the midsection. Back up, Stevie sends Rebel back into the ring. Rebel, I don't know, she's maybe going for like a DDT or something, but Stevie had it well scouted and the shots to the midsection, kicked to the midsection in return. Spurred a second time and able to get that DDT on Stevie. Flatliner into the Fujiwara armbar submission. And Stevie fight out of it. She does not submit. So Rebel goes to tag in Carmella. Super uppercut to the face of Carmella. Goes for the cover. Only a two count. Carmella able to kick out. Nacho, I doubt she's rubbing it in. Come on. She can't help being a, having the ability to do things. Things, it, it ha things happen the way they did. You are still plenty powerful and awesome and super as before you had those type of powers. Elevated belly to back suplex onto Rebel. And Sarah tagging Stevie back in. Stevie's just simply having fun out in the ring. That's all. Hey, Ripper! Rebel with the pinfall attempt. Stevie with the kick out at two. Possibly, Nacho. Okay, Ripper. Stevie dumped onto her head with that German suplex. Tag to Carmella. Shot to the face. Elbow in return. CB with a nice takedown. Face first into the corner. Tag to Sarah. Ribs wide open. And shot to the midsection by Sarah. Lock up. Leg lariat onto Sarah. Sarah able to get an up kick to get some separation and Sarah and Sarah tags in Stevie yet again. Oh, Stevie lifts up Carmella, but Carmella with the elbow shots to the side of the head, able to stop her and takes her down and Stevie having to cover up from those shots to the face. Nice takedown on Rebel. Try to calm yourself, Lissa. She hasn't shown up at all tonight. Jen? Don't do anything to Polly. It's being handled. Don't do anything unless it's stated by by Atticus or anybody else who's in the middle of all this that it's okay to 
get involved. Sunset Split Power Bomb onto Carmella and Rebel at the ready with the baseball bat on Stevie. Super Stevie Punch! Nacho, you don't need to know what she does for a spot, eh, if at all. <laughs> exactly, Nacho. <laughs> We've got a plan. Oh, shot to the midsection. Another sunset flip power bomb onto Carmella. And now Stevie with the baseball bat. Cracks Carmella in the head. Rebel clearing off the furniture. You know what, Lissa? We're gonna figure out, we'll figure something out. If she's strong, uh, super strong with, with y'all one-on-one, then we're just gonna have to figure out something else to do. Stevie with a fall for the clusters. Fisherman Buster on to Rebel now. looking for. Oh, has a shovel in hand as Rebel goes up over and cracks Sarah in the face with the stop sign. And now Stevie is distracted by Carmella. Knee strike to the face. And Rebel decides to take uh, um, out some frustrations on Sarah and Sarah drops off the ring apron like, nope. Eh -uh. Shot to the face by Rebel. And Sarah fights back with a punch to the face, then jumps off the ring apron like, whatever. E -e. Stevie drops rope first onto the top rope. Brought back to her feet by Rebel. Kicks in the midsection. Set up for the Cairo Pressor right on the stop sign. Now, tag to Carmella. <laughs> oh. Kick to the side of the head. Kick to the midsection by Stevie. Carmella, set to the ropes. Tilt the world backbreaker onto Carmella. Now, Stevie using her super strength. Having her up, up over there. Showing Carmella the sights and lets her drop. Lock up. Stevie with a head scissors takedown onto Carmella. Springs her back to her feet. Flips her over. Knee strike to the face. Brings Carmella back up. Another Super Stevie punch in the cover. Carmella shoots that arm up at two. Nacho does, uh, I usually call that Superman and Woman Punch the Super Stevie Punch. Is that also called, sorry about you space, like you call it? 
Phoebe yanks Carmella up by the hair and lets her drop. Punch to the face. Goes through the standing. Okay, it is Nacho. All right. All right. Got it. Duly noted, Nacho. And Sarah yelling for Stevie to tag her in. She desperately needs one. And she, Sarah's like, I want to play. <laughs> tag the rebel. <laughs> and a neat. Stevie needs a tag, and now. Well, Stevie gets to her feet. Car uh, Carmella comes in the match. Super kick to the face. Super kick to the back of the head. Stevie needs to go and tag in. Sarah drives uh, her knees into the back of Carmella. Carmella with the striking combo. And it was a knee strike to the face. Cover. And Sarah had enough and just came to try and make the save. Sends Rebel out of the ring now. And then just goes out after Rebel. Oh, Carmella able to shift her weight. Elevated belly to back suplex on the outside on Rebel. As Carmella reigned in the left hand to the face. Now Stevie with the right hand to the face of Carmella. She goes for the cover. Carmella with the kick out. Ooh, spinning back fist to the face of Stevie. And I don't know what Stevie is trying to do, but she missed. Oh, shot to the face. She has up Stevie. Beast drives. Carmella with the cover. Oh, man. Your winners of the match are Hell on Wheels. Great up for Bound Busters. Maybe if Stevie w had... Uh, um... Brought in Sarah... Maybe she'd ha uh, there'd be a, um, more of a chance for the Clown Busters, but it is what it is. Always next time. Always next time. Stevie was kicking the John Cena. Hell on majority of the bets, and they got the win. And now, for our main card. This is what we got in store. First matchup will be a fatal four-way. JW Caliber takes on Joshua Utaker, Jose Blanco, and Jay Vulture. Next Fatal 4-Way will be Blaze McCoy versus Wild Mad Outlaw versus Aiden Nightwalker versus Lee. Then it will be Chase Nightwalker taking on Brandon Quabos, taking on the Incredible Steve and TJ Toad. 
And Super Nacho in action versus Death Hood, Jason Danger, Devin Storm, and Michael Nightwalker. Then Max Blaylock takes on Jinx McCoy, Clinton McCleary, and Kelly Mavericks. Then Killshot Matt Storm takes on Weapon X, Logan Windsor, J-Dog, and Captain Danger. <laughs> Nacho, I, I gonna J-O-B so hard. <laughs> Next up will be Drum Monkey taking on Black Ice, Brian LG. Mason Nightwalker and Shadow Press. Then triple threat action, first blood elimination between the three members of the Demon Gods. Just friendly competition. Brooklyn Joker taking on Ripper Springheel and Azriel Black. Then the main event, first blood elimination, fatal four. Four members of Desolation. Paul Utaker, Azriel Black, Damian Richards, and Killian Utaker. Starting first with J.W. Caliber taking on Joshua Utaker, Jose Blanco, and Jay Vulture. Who do y'all got? Place your bets in the chat. The guy with Jay and their there's names, uh, uh, names of uh, winners. <laughs> of course, not so. <laughs> I know some of my ABCs. <laughs> Coming out first, at five foot ten, weighing two hundred and thirty-five pounds, from Rio Grande Valley, Texas. He's a former Bad Moon Rising champion, a former Blackout champion. He's the Dirty South Outlaw, J.W. Caliber. Oh my goodness, Nacha. Well, speaking of your prince, Carmella. Coming out at five foot eight, weighing one hundred and seventy nine pounds, 
from Juarez, Chihuahua, Mexico, Tiny Boy, Joshua Utaker. And now our next opponent. Coming out at five foot eleven, weighing two hundred and thirty pounds from Jersey City, New Jersey. The masochist, Jose Blanco. Hot Topic, Peter Ablon. Yeah, Firestar. The little ones aren't so little anymore. They're just the youngins now. And last but not least, coming out at six foot four, weighing 265 pounds from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. He is a former Blood Fiends Tag Team Champion, Jay Vulture. I am positive about that one, not so. <laughs> go. Joshua sending Jave onto the ring apron. And Jose sending JW out of the ring. Jay going for the steel steps. And Joshua gets cracked in the face with them. This nacho, I am sure about that. I am sure. I'm totally sure about that nacho. <laughs> nope. 
Oh my goodness. Covered by Jose on Joshua. Only a one count. Jay Vulture sent into one of the announce tables. Then back into the ring. I'll be right back, babe. Okay, baby. Now Joshua going after Caliber. And down goes down goes the referee. <laughs> Come on, ref! Now it's time to take a nap. The taco truck got burned up too. Oh no. I'm so sorry, Carmella. Yikes. Ay, ay, ay. Well, we, we can help you rebuild that taco truck, sweetie. Oh boy. Masochist runner onto Joshua. He's not knocked out or anything. He just goes after one of the other opponents. Pour some hot sauce out for the fallen tacos. Oh my goodness, Nacho. <laughs> Joshua with the meeting of the minds between Jose and JW. Vulture sending JW into the ring. Oh boy, that ghost pepper, that could burn you up, dude. Yikes. Ah, it's way too hot for me. Oh, cover by Jose. Kick out by Vulture. Oh boy. Oh, Joshua with that trifecta of moon salt. Takes out JW Caliber. Submission on Jose. Able to fight off J Vulture. Oh boy. It even closed when I see. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> Suplex on to Joshua. Joshua with a gut shot with the sledgehammer. Joshua. Dropped with a power bomb.
Oh, jeez, not so, really. <laughs> Oh, Darius. Looks like Jay Balter is going for the steel steps. Joshua stopping him. Hits in the midsection. Destroyer. And Jose busting up that pinball attempt. What the hell? Getting a little overzealous with that shovel. Jay Bolter making Jose pay for that one. But Joshua sends Jay Bolter into the ring. Joshua with the knee drop to the face on Bolter. Stomp to the face. Shot to the face and Bolter's spaghetti legs. Jose. Drop kick to Joshua, and then Jose by Vulture. Swing a neck breaker on Joshua by Vulture. Jose has him up and countered with a super kick. Now Vulture going for a weapon. Come with the steel chair. Superman punch in the cover by Joshua. And referee taking his sweet time. Otherwise, there may have been more than one, a one count. Now Joshua going right through Jose. Standing Spanish fly onto Jose. Knee drop to the face of Jose. Jose dropped with a back slam into some type of submission, and Blanco able to fight his way out. Joshua was going after Jose, and Jose was able to fend off Joshua. Now a series of strikes, and Jose gets speared by Jay Bolter. And Jose has been eliminated by Jay Vulture. It's down to Jay Vulture and Joshua Butaker. And Joshua slammed in the back with the steel steps. Then Joshua sent back into the ring. Vulture picks up the steel chair before going into the ring, and Jose stops him before he, he even thinks of utilizing the steel chair. Jay Vulture slams it down into a submission, and Jay Vulture is your winner. Jose actually had the majority of the bats in, in this, but your winner is Jay Vulture. On to our next match. We have Blaze McCoy taking on Wild Mad Outlaw, Aiden Nightwalker, and Gazi. See what y'all got. Place your bets in the chat. <laughs> the 
hot show. Well, they do drink the blood of the, the so-called queen of vampires, Polly. Something in the blood that makes them be able to travel that fast? I don't know. Coming out first, at six foot five, weighing 250 pounds, from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Blaze McCoy. Holy moly, habanero mustard. Ugh. Not my favorite thing for a pizza. Ugh. Yuck. Coming out next at six foot six, weighing two hundred and sixty pounds, from Sioux Falls, South Dakota, he's the wild one, the last train robber, the mercenary. He is Wild Matt Outlaw. Coming out next at six foot nine, weighing two hundred and eighty-five pounds from Naples, Italy. He is a former Bad Moon Rising champion, former Blackout champion, former Unholy Trinity champion, and one half of the reigning Blood Fiends Tag Team Champions. BMWF second Grand Slam champion. The son of the East Coast bastard, Aiden Nightwalker. The first champion being his dad, Mordred Nightwalker. And last but not least, coming out at five foot ten, weighing one hundred and sixty two pounds from Kill Devil Hills, North Carolina, Gazi. Ha <laughs> ha. 
Nacho. All four competitors are ready. While Matt going after Gazi, while Aiden goes after Blaze. Careful, Ripper, you put that out into the universe, you may end up taking that idea and running with it. Aiden going after the steel steps. Gazi working over Blaze. Covered by Blaze onto Aiden, and Aiden with the kick out. It isn't goldfish crackers this time, it's sour cream and onion potato chips. <laughs> <laughs> Inside the ring. Oh, outside the ring now, leaping neck breaker. On to Aiden. Pinfall attempt only gets a two count. Ha ha ha, Patty, I know you could have. Oh, Matt with a choke slam on to Aiden. As he has up while Matt power bomb cover. A two count as Blaze with a flying shoulder tackle on Aiden. He goes for the cover. I guess nothing came of that. Oh, it looks like Ozzy was going for the 619 and Wild Matt stopped it in his track. Uh, Ozzy has, he has him up. Matt's a power bomb on Gazi, and that gets a fall for Wild Matt Outlaw. I mean, an elimination for Wild Matt Outlaw. And what, what, what? And not Blaze elimination. 
played a wild match. Jeez, Louise. Down to Blaze and Aiden. Eden sent to the ropes. Slammed onto his back. Helper. Take out at two. Blaze exiting the ring to go for his steel steps. Eden with a kick in the midsection. Has Blaze up. Just drops him face first from powerbomb position. Blaze gets back up, sends Hitman back into the ring. Back up. Has Aiden by the scruff of the neck, but Aiden with the elbow shots in the midsection. It can combo! Over now! And Blaze shoots that arm up at two. Hey, Brian! Welcome to the stream. <laughs> you there you have a, t a ways until it's your match, Brian, so but you are on the card. I appreciate you Coming around and hanging out for as long as you're able, Black Eyes. Oh, Blaze has Aiden up. Power bombs into the outside. Aiden gets back to his feet. Shot to the face. Leaping kill switch. Aiden sent into that ring post. And a Yuranagi slam onto Aiden. Shot to the back. Goes to the fireball punch and Aiden stops him. Dumps him onto his head with that German suplex. Kick to the face, then blaze into that barricade. Shot to the face now. Aiden. With the Russian light sweep against the barricade. Back up. Blaze. Step back into the ring. Power bomb. Flips him over into the knee strike to the face, and that busts open Blaze. Aiden now has his steps in hand. Kick to the midsection, knocks him out of hand. And Blaze sends Aiden into the corner. Big old splash. Into the corner again. Another big old splash. And Blaze, with a kick to the side of the head, hops up top, and then the elbows to the head. Now the submission. And that is it! Your winner of the match, Blaze McCoy! Wow! Wild Matt had the majority of the bets, but Blaze McCoy is your winner.
Next up, Chase Nightwalker takes on Brandon Cuevas, The Incredible Steve, and TJ Toad. And not just saying, go Steve! No reverse Hogan style, my son. Try, my son, try! Y'all got place your bets in the chat. Triple beat going for TJ for the win. Who you all got? Oh my goodness. Who am I, who is I kidding? That boy and committed to reverse Hogan style. Oh jeez. <laughs> Welcome to the stream, TJ. Just in time for your match. Coming out first at six foot seven, weighing three hundred and twenty four pounds from Copenhagen, Denmark. He's one of the sons of Chance Harper and Angelita Matthews. Stepson one of the stepsons of Jeff Matthews, one of the grandsons of Mordrin and Raven Nightwalker and Mr. and Mrs. Utaker. Chase Nightwalker. Coming out next at six foot nine, weighing two hundred and seventy five pounds from Newark, New Jersey, the rebellious soldier, Brandon Quavas.
And coming out next. Coming out at seven foot four, weighing six hundred pounds. From out of this world, the incredible Steve. Jeez, Patty. out to the ring next. Rounding out this fatal four-way. At six foot five, weighing 275 pounds, from the Mushroom Kingdom, or Sacramento, California, he's the Blue Toad, TJ Toad. The former blackout champion. Here in singles competition. <laughs> oh my goodness, Nacho. Oh, and Nacho, your match is right after this one. Oh my goodness, Christopher. <laughs> Good thing Abby did, didn't have a match tonight. <laughs> oh boy. So you are arm bar under Brandon. Now covered by Chase. Only a two count. Oh my goodness, Nacho! <laughs> Nacho's gonna uh, gonna have to rest. Ace LSD. Oh my gosh! Oh jeez! I <laughs> get it. Oh my goodness. Chase has a hold of Brandon. And a scoop slam in the corner. Lock up, kick from the midsection. Brandon with the counter. The deep sent back into the ring by TJ. And now TJ going after Brandon with the tow driver. Chase sent onto the ring apron. Chase, one of the future brothers-in-law. 
of the incredible Steve, the incredible Steve and Gage just chases brother Karma. Bro I need to wakey wakey tell. Chases sister Karma. Oh my god. I am so tired. <laughs> Karma, don't hurt me. Steve is engaged to Karma, Chase's sister. <laughs> I believe she's the... the older sister. And Lena is um, the, one of the triplets, if, if I'm correct, correct on there. Oh my goodness, Nacho! Aw, oh, hell! Now you gotta get a new one? Oh, no. Rains, it pours, babe. Jeez, what is... Oh my goodness, Nacho. <laughs> Steve busted open by TJ. But this ain't first blood. Okay, send Steve into the ring. DJ with a spinning back elbow on Chase. Brandon slammed onto his back, covered by TJ. Kick out. Ab stretch onto Chase. And Steve with and only a one count. And another toe driver, and that eliminates Brandon. Roll up on Steve, and he was able to kick out. TJ sends Chase into the ring, and then he sends TJ into the ring. TJ hears a kick to the midsection. Cutter onto Steve. And Steve rolling out. Hey, Brandon. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, you were eliminated. Northern Light suplex onto TJ. And Chase dropped face first onto the knee. End of days onto TJ. And TJ having to roll out. Now Steve with a stomp to the mid a stomp to the chest, and Chase with a up kick out of the corner. And what's TJ measuring? Steve for. Oh, Northern Lights suplex by Chase onto TJ. And now Steve going at the Chase. Sends him to the ropes. Slams him down. Oh, Chase with a roll up. Only a one count. And TJ with a crack to the back of Chase with that double. Goes through the cover. Chase kicks out. Shot to the face. 
has CJ up. CJ with the punches to the head. Gets off the shoulders. Nice takedown by Chase. Fisherman Buster on to TJ. Oh no, TJ with the tow driver. What? Oh, it has him in a uh, full Nelson. Able to fight out a bit. Drops TJ. TJ with the spinning elbow on to Steve. Chase has TJ up. Slams him onto his back. Steve back into the ring. Elevate back suplex onto Chase. And Steve has a hold of TJ. Hey guys, into the corner. Chase with a shot to the back on Steve. Sends him flying out of the ring. Up kick out of the corner by TJ and a chase. Drop kick. And TJ just throws Chase out of the ring. Steve with the German suplex into the ripcord lariat. Goes for the cover. And a nut kick out by TJ. Lock up. Chase back in. Trips up Steve. Steve rolling out of the ring. Uh, what's Chase planning? Oh, now it changes direction to go after TJ. Double axe handle to the dome. Cover. Kick out at two. Oh my goodness, Nacho. And TJ eliminates Chase with the tow driver. It's down to Steve and TJ. Slams him down with some pendulum slam, but Steve able to kick out at two. So far, TJ with the, all the eliminations. Hockey stick knocked out of hand. Steve sent into the corner. Now, propped up. Steve kicks him away. Shot to the midsection. And the... And TJ rolls out. Trying to avoid getting pinned, but Steve follows. Come on, referee, if you're going to do it. And still, TJ has enough to kick out. Oh, play caught. Elbow to the leg. Hip toss into a headlock. Steve able to shake him off. Kick to the chest. Steve gets to his feet. It lifts up. TJ slams him down. Is that enough? Kick out at two. Backbreaker into an ab stretch. Overhead throw by Steve. Now Steve goes into the ring. Grabs the shovel. Exits. Rock from behind by TJ. Slams him onto the back of his head. Now multiple neck cranks on Steve. He slams him onto the back of his head. He's back up. Oh. Misses that, um, that move. And holy cannoli. 
clean sweep of the eliminations. Your winner of the match, TJ Toad. Chase and Steve tied up for the majority of the bets. EJ is your winner. Next up, Super Nacho takes on Death Hood Jason Danger, Devin Storm, and Michael Nightwalker. What do y'all got? Place your bets in the chat. <laughs> Wild Matt going for his future son-in-law to win, being Michael Nightwalker. Coming out first at six foot two, weighing two hundred and fifty pounds, from out of this world, Super Nacho. Oh my goodness, not for Nacho. Oh no, Ripper's gonna end up having to wrestle under with uh, under the influence of Faith LSD too. Oh boy. Now for our next competitor. Coming out at five foot eleven, weighing four hundred and twenty-one pounds, from Indianapolis, Indiana, 
He is a former Blood Fiends Tag Team Champion and a former Unholy Trinity Champion, Death Hood Jason Danger. It's not true. Oh, there. <laughs> that would be funny. That would be a fun, a funny, for Nacho. Oh my goodness. Oh, really, Nacho? Nice. So y'all watch uh, TNA as well. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That song is embedded into my brain. I've watched so much and Joe Hendry. Anywho. <laughs> Coming out at 7 foot even, weighing 385 pounds. From New York, Devin Storm. <laughs> yup, because he's a former edgehead. Hey, Nacho. I wonder if you if you watched um 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 um. um this, um, Saturday night's episode of AEW Collision? It was Edge defending the TNT title versus Matt Cardona. So, yeah. Talk about a blast from the past, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Last but not least, cut into the ring at six foot two, weighing two hundred and fifty seven pounds from Copenhagen, Denmark. He is one of the sons of Chance Harper and Angelita Matthews, one of the stepsons of Jeff Matthews, one of the grandsons of Mordrin and Raven Nightwalker, and Mr. and Mrs. Utaker, Michael Nightwalker. Ah, okay, Nacho. I was just curious, since Sarah mentioned Matt Cardona and Edge and all that, so just wondering. Okay, all four competitors are ready. <laughs> Nacho. Yeah, he's a big dude. <laughs> oh, if you've seen him, like, on YouTube and whatnot, he is big on action figures. Oh, my goodness. It's ridiculous. He is big on action figures, but he doesn't just collect them. He collects them kind of like... Uh, he actually... I guess he actually makes money off of them. He, uh, actually makes money off of action figures and such. He's, like, invests in them. That kind of thing. So, yeah. Ha 
<laughs> Carmella. <laughs> Oh, wow. Cool, Nacho. Nice. Well, that's one thing to, uh, one reason to make him your favorite. <laughs> Jason with the cover. Kick out by Devin. Devin has Jason up, and Nacho has up Michael. Letting the blood drain to the head. Delayed suplex. Drops Michael. Now Jason again trying for a pin cover. And Devin kicks out yet again. Only a one count. <laughs> Michael kicks out of a pin attempt by Nacho. <laughs> hey, if they if it's they appeal to you in some way, and it's someone you uh, are willing to support, all more power to you. Oh, Nacho. Add up Jason, and I guess Jason was able to get down. And Hurricane Rana take down on Jason by Michael. And Nacho sent face first into the ring post. Jason now looking for a weapon. Knocked out of hand, kick to the midsection, stunner on to Jason. As Devin and Michael are battling on the concrete rampway. Nacho with a cover. Only a two count on Jason. <laughs> nice, Ripper. Nice. Oh, double team on Nacho, and down he goes, face first, thanks to Devin and Michael. And now Jason has Nacho up, Nacho off the back, chop lock. Sweeping clothesline to the back of Nacho. Shot to the back of Michael. Nacho with the flies to the ropes onto Michael. And Nacho decided to go for a cover. Two by Michael. Lock up between Jason and Devin. Devin has Jason up. Slams him onto his back. And Nacho sent back into the ring by Michael. Michael sent into the corner. Nacho. Goes after him and elbow out of the corner by Michael. Oh, shot to the back of the head. And then a shot to the head. Clobbering blows to the back. Double axe handles from Nacho. Nice knockdown by Nacho. A submission on to Devin. And Nacho pinning Michael at the same time. Now then, Brock Paz. What the hell, Brock? And Jason has eliminated Devin, the biggest guy in this matchup. Now it's down to Nacho, Jason, and Michael. Nacho, it was Mikey's fault. That was aiming for the floor. 
And Nacho does a meeting of the minds between Jason and Michael. Big old gut punch to Jason. Michael with the cover on Nacho. Kick out at two. Lock up between Jason and Michael. Brain buster on to Michael. And Michael pulling himself under the ring apron by the ropes. Fires a shot back. Um, wait a minute. No fair. I was supposed to get pinned first. Now I has a mad. Oh, jeez, Nacho. Does it really matter whether you were pinned first or not? Jeez. Michael sent out of the ring. Oh, cover on Nacho, and the referee had his head up his behind. Sorry, Nacho. Well, now Jason has a pinball attempt on Nacho, and Nacho kicks out it, too. Sorry, Nacho. <laughs> Jeez. Joe with the backbreakers, then tosses Michael across the floor. Wait a minute, who did, who did that? Oh, that was Nacho who did that. Okay. Babe, I'm gonna go ch chill out in the chat. I need to charge my controller anyway. Okay, baby. I love you. Love you too. Bye. Bye. Your winner of the match is Michael Nightwalker.
Nacho and Michael were tied for majority of the bets. And Michael is your winner. <laughs> Nacho's like, yay, it took you long enough, Mikey. Rebel's all happy for her man. Oh my goodness, Nacho is talking to the floor, saying he's so colorful, who does use hair? <laughs> oh my goodness, wow, Nacho, <laughs> you are really high as a kite on that space LSD. Be right back, everybody, just need to get myself something to drink.
Okay, everybody, I have returned. Hold on a second. <sighs> oh boy, not Steve. <laughs> Gonna rat this nacho out. Oh boy. <sighs> Anywho. Coming out first, at 5 foot 11, weighing 200 pounds, from Houston, Texas, Max Blaylock. Oh my gosh, not oh, 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 oh. oh boy. Coming out at six foot three, weighing two hundred and thirty pounds. From Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Jinx McCoy. Coming out at six foot three, weighing two hundred and seventy pounds from Waterford, Ireland. He is a former Bad Moon Rising champion and a former Unholy Trinity champion. 
the one true devil, Clinton McCleary. Water bottles, jeez. And the last person to round out this four way. Coming out at six foot even, weighing 196 pounds. He's a surfer from Venice Beach. The California kid, Kelly Maverick. Here we go. Clinton going after Max. Max with a snap suplex. Going for a quick cover. Kick out at one. Breaker onto Jinx by Kelly. Clinton on the ring apron. Shot to the face. Max with the belly to back suplex onto Clinton. Takedown and do a reverse knee bar on Clinton. Looks like some type of side move into the corner. Now the rolling drop kick by Jinx onto Maverick. Clinton with the three Irishmen. His trifecta of suplexes oh not a double team by Clinton and Max on to Kelly Mavericks and Jinx then takes down Clinton Max sends Kelly Mavericks into the ring then now Max going back into going into the ring Mavericks off the mid turnbuckle with the tornado DDT. Max with the roll up. Only a one count. Swinging neck breaker on the Mavericks by Max. Lock up between Clinton and Jinx. Jinx. Set back first into the barricades. As Kelly and Max are battling by the announce tables. Max shoots the half. Goes through the cover on Kelly. And Kelly with the kick out at one. As Clinton is sent clear across the floor towards the barricade. Max sent back into the ring by Mavericks. And Mavericks 
with a shot to the back of Jinx. Slice bread into a pinning attempt. Only a two count. Take out by Jinx. Kick to the midsection on Clinton. Kick and return. Jawbreaker to Max by Mavericks. Mavericks is a kick to the midsection on Clinton. Everybody giving them each other a kick to the midsection. Kravat suplex by Blaylock on the Mavericks. Max. Shoulder breaker onto Jinx, who is now eliminated. Down to Clinton, Kelly, and Max. Maverick set into the corner. Kick to the midsection by Clinton on the Max. Sanguine Rose. Now the cover. Kick out at two by Blaylock. And then Mavericks with a, some type of splash or some type of strike to the back of the head. Drop kick to the back by Blaylock. Kick by Kelly. Uh, Mavericks with the Fisherman uh, driver. Max coming in with the steel chair. Standing Spanish fly by Ma Kelly. And Max with the shots to the back of that with that steel chair. And now Clinton with that series of elbow strikes to the top of the dome of Max Blaylock. And now choking him. Shot to the back by Mavericks on Clinton. And Max with the Saito suplex. Clinton able to catch Max in a roll up. Kick out at one. Turns his attention to Kelly Mavericks. Lock up. Kick and return. Side slam. Cover by Mavericks. Kick out. And now Max going after Kelly. Side slam. Oh, whatever Clinton had in mind. Max was, it had it well scouted. Now an elbow to the face. Leaping knee strike to Kelly Mavericks. DDT busts open Max. Neck breaker position. Changes it to a discus elbow to the back of the head. Back slam by Kelly onto Clinton. Neck breaker. Clinton rolled out of the ring, and Kelly went high risk, and that did not help him much when he went airborne. And that impaler on the max, but all three men are still in the match. Kick in the midsection on Kelly. Max has him up. And a shoulder breaker ends up eliminating Kelly Mavericks. Ma uh, Max Blaylock with the majority of the bet. Down to him and Clinton McCleary. Will Max have a clean sweep? We'll see. Max Within the foot and ankle of Clinton. Max brings him to his feet. Impa it looks like a uh, flatliner or an impaler. Only a two count with that pinning attempt. Kick out by Clinton, who rolls out of the ring. Max up top. What's he got? Hey, what's he thinking? Go, went for a double axe handle and eats a shot to the midsection on the way down. Oh. Sanguine Rose does the job, and your winner of the match is Clinton McCleary.
Congratulations, Clinton. Kelly Mavericks had the majority of the bets, but Clinton McCleary, the one true devil, is your winner. Next up, next up, kill shot Matt Storm. Takes on Weapon X, Logan Windsor, J Dog, and Captain Danger. Who y'all got? Place your bets in the chat. Captain saying himself for the Logan Windsor. We shall see how things go, Captain. Good luck. Wow, Matt, think kill shot's gonna get the win. We shall see. Coming out first at six foot two, weighing two hundred and five pounds from Nashville, Tennessee, kill shot. Matt Storm! Coming out next. At six foot eleven, weighing six hundred pounds from Wales, Weapon X, Logan Windsor.
coming out next. At six foot two, weighing 265 pounds, from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, he is a former Blood Fiends Tag Team Champion, J-Dog. And our final competitor. Coming out last but not least. At five foot ten, weighing two hundred and nineteen pounds, from Indianapolis, Indiana, he is a former Blackout champion, a former Blood Fiends champ, a former Blood Fiends tag team champion, a former Unholy Trinity champion. He is Captain Danger. Holy moly! I just realized. He needs the Bad Moon Rising Championship to be Grand Slam Champion, Jane. Hey, you never know. Yep, understood. I I've seen the pictures. Atticus has told me that it's okay. So I trust him. Azrael is not in a position to be able to check the pictures at the moment, so I'm going to trust Atticus's opinion and Here we go. Logan go head, uh, going head to head with Captain. Kill shot sends uh, J Dog into the corner and then tosses him across the ring. Okay, Captain, much appreciated. Well, as soon as you are completely finished with your characters, just uh, let me know and I will download all the characters in one shot. Makes it a whole lot easier. Kill shot cleaning off the furniture. And kill, then he sends Captain into the ring. Logan driving his big booty into the midsection of Killshot. J Dog slamming the knee onto the floor. Yep, you already know the pr uh, know the um the rule the rules I have set for um attires and whatnot. So and. Any other questions, you know to DM me. Danger cutter onto J Dog and you're in the cover. Only a two count. Yup, I definitely appreciate it as well, Nacho. Him working with me on making sure things, but yeah, because 
because Nacho, it's not just you, it's um, uh, Tiny, it's Asriel who have health issues that certain things are not uh, pleasing health-wise um, and can trigger trigger bad reactions. So, I, Captain, I applaud you for working with me on that. Yeah, I believe it, Nacho. Um, out of character, Nacho. I grew up, growing up, I used to have to take an anti-seizure medication based on a health situation I had when I was nine years old. I no longer have to take the medication, but I had to for a period of time due to that situation. If you're, if you want to know the details, I'll DM me. But yeah, I. But yeah, I under, I understand that certain things trigger certain health reactions, and I don't want anything on my show to be the cause of it so that's why I appreciate uh, so I appreciate you working with me on this captain and 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 the su best uh, as long as we can work together on this and make sure that it, it shows that you are willing to make it so others can still appreciate your um, your character but not get he triggered health-wise in the process. And I, that makes me appreciate you, it makes you th me think you really want to do what you need to do to stay a part of the company and stay on the show. Which means a lot to me, Captain. Very much to me, Captain. Understood, Nacho. And Logan has eliminated J Dog. Great effort by J Dog, but it's down to kill shot, Logan and Captain. Definitely don't allow, I don't allow glow and there are certain other types of material that are allowed but in small doses cuz or in extreme amounts like say uh, like um not, um captain asked me about glitter Uh, I said in small doses, cause an extreme amount, like all over, that would prob that would probably trigger something, depending on the lighting. So I didn't want that to happen. So I, that's why I said in small doses, if he, if that material happens to be used. So yeah. Because I don't mind y'all being creative with your characters. I just want to make sure that nobody's hurt trying to watch my show. I know it's beyond my control to a certain extent, but I just appreciate people, uh, uh, people like Captain or anybody else who has a character on my show willing to work with uh, uh work with me in order to keep their character on my show. Cravat choke onto Logan does not take him out. Oh, rainbow material? It's basically called rainbow, because I know Shifty uses rainbow material. Because I'm planning on having, if I, 
I think he, yeah, I think he may, he uses rainbow. I de um, I'm just, and I'm planning on having Shifty back on the show once Blaze, um, is completely finished with this, creating the, his character and uploads it. Okay, Captain. Oh, kill shot has eliminated Captain Danger. It's down to Logan and Kill Shot. Great effort by J Dog and Captain Danger. Logan able to shake off Kill Shot. Probably, depending on, like, and all that stuff, it's, like, so, material, certain material is okay, but, like, in small doses, because you never know how overpowering it can be. I just don't, I, but I also don't want to stifle anybody's creativity or anything, either. Let me see. Oh, okay, Nacho. But yeah. And plus, I'm slowly... ...working on my arenas and everything, and I realized that certain... ...maybe certain lighting doesn't just, uh, doesn't work... Uh, with certain areas of the arena, like, if you're talking about, like, right over the ring, and there is, um, see the, um, the image I have on my, on the ring mat? Yo, 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 it's Blaze McCoy in the house. You were in action t t tonight, so check out the replay of whatever you missed. But, yeah. I, uh, I try to be very thoughtful about certain things to make sure that it does not, is not troublesome for my viewers. Simple as that. And I know that certain things are beyond my control, but I care about anybody getting triggered for, health-wise, for when it comes to anything on my show. So, when people are willing to, even it, uh, when people are asking uh, questions and, and everything to make sure that things are okay, it just goes to show that people actually care about, be about making it so they can still be on my show. That they care. Yep, and that's appreciative. And those... That series of drop kicks to Logan does the job, and your winner of the match, Kill Shot, Matt Storm. Killshot has a majority of the bets, too. And he is your winner. <laughs> oh 
goodness, Nacho. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> On to our next match. Next up, Drum Monkey takes on Black Ice, Brian LG, Mason Nightwalker, and Sh Who do y'all got? Place your bets in the chat. And not to like, monkey son, you can maybe do it. <laughs> oh boy, love you, Nacho. <laughs> Coming out to the ring first. Coming out at 5'11", weighing 231 pounds. From Chicago, Illinois, he is a former Unholy Trinity champion. The resident rock star, he's Mr. Sticks. He's the drum monkey. Coming out to the ring next. At six foot two, weighing 258 pounds. From Arkansas, Black Ice, Brian LG. Okay, Patty. Sweet dreams and take care. Coming out next. Coming out next at six foot seven, weighing three hundred and twenty six pounds from Copenhagen, Denmark. He is one of the sons of Chance Harper and Angelita Matthews. One of the stepsons of Jeff Matthews. One of the grand the grandsons of Mordred and Raven Nightwalker and Mr. and Mrs. Utaker. 
Mason Nightwalker. And last but not least, coming out at 5'11", weighing 241 pounds, from Detroit, Michigan, he is a former Blood Fiends Tag Team Champion and a former Unholy Trinity Champion. He's the ultimate fighter. No flash, just, uh, just fits. He is Shadow Pride. Bangs on the cowbell for the night walk in. Ah, oh, jeez. Funny. Mason and Shadow Press now in the ring. Tag team partners and unholy trinity partners. Drum Monkey, their unholy trinity partner. But once in the ring in single competition, you have to just. Make sure to just hug, either hug it out or get a couple beers afterwards. Because <laughs> in single competition, you are simply opponents in this mat in these matches. Ryan with the sledgehammer with a gut shot on Mason goes to the cover. And referee not having his head screwed on tight enough and unsure what to pay attention to. Monkey with the drum roll on Shadow Press. Goes for a cover. Kick out by Shadow Press at two. Oh, 
Payson with the sledgehammer in hand, going at the Brian. Knocks him down. Brian knocks down Mason and Shadow Frost with the stomps on Drum Monkey. Now coffee break. Chain of wrestling. Keeps your opponent close to you while you can do X amount of damage. Mason had a pinfall attempt on Brian, but referee wasn't there quick enough. Take down into the little bell lock by Shadow Press. And Drum Monkey able to shake him off. Brian with the boot to the boots to the, the Shadow Press. Knocks him down. Drum Monkey going out to Brian. Shadow Press with a backbreaker on Mason. <laughs> and doing a little DX style on the outside is <laughs> shadow press oh and drum is wrenching back the arms of mason Ooh, i have been in that type of that type of move and it did not feel good drum monkey up top frog splash misses mason gets out of the way and up jays and mason has eliminated drum monkey It's down to Brian, Mason, and Shadow Press. And the day's on to Brian. Kick out at two. Great effort by Drum Monkey. Mason has Shadow Press up. Oh. Shot to the eyes and Shadow Press gets uh, uh, gets out of that predicament and then leaping knee strike to Mason who has to roll out. Shadow Press in the corner, slumped in the corner that is, and Brian deciding to go after the steel steps. Shadow Press goes on after him and cracks Shadow Press in the face while Mason deciding to flex on the outside. Brian with the cover. Kick out a two. Lock up. Mason. Sends Brian away and Dream Chaser DDT on the Mason and cover. Only a two count. Now Shadow Press sees Brian having to uh, turn his attention to him, and the hangover kick eliminates Brian. It's down to the tag team and trio's partners. Mason picking up the steel steps. Walks over, and kicks in the midsection, knocks him out of hand. And Mason sent into the ring apron. Shadow Press takes the long way around and then goes back into the ring for the, with the, ho for the hockey stick and cracks Mason over the head and over the back. You're able to do plenty with someone bigger than you if you have a weapon in hand and rest it pieces to the hockey stick. Kick in the midsection. Dream Chaser. Albert. Kick out at two by Mason. Shadow Price going for the steel steps. Taking a walk around. Trying to send them into the ring. Mason sends them into the ropes. 
Nothing really comes of that. But a shock in the face does. Mason deciding to use his strength. Has Shadow Press high above his head. Shows him the sights and lets him drop. Mason, as it's the ring, grabs the stop sign. Unable to utilize it. Shadow Press. Roll through. Super kick to the face. And that is it. Your winner of the match is Shadow Press. Much appreciated, Paul. Better late than never. That's all I'm gonna I have to say. Better late than never. But congratulations to Shadow Press. Drum Monkey had the majority of the bets. Dang, no bets on Shadow Press. But your winner of the match, the regard it disregarding the results of the bets is Shadow Press. Excuse me. <laughs> Paul, I doubt you were a jinx. Come on. And now, our final two matches of the night. Our first blood elimination. This one features the three members of the Demon Gods. Triple Threat First Blood Elimination. Paul going for Ripper for the win. Who do you all got? Place your bets in the chat. Blah, 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 I can't even talk. <sighs> I need a wakey wakey. Coming out first, <laughs> Jeez Louise. At six foot six, weighing three hundred pounds, from New York. He is a former blackout champion and one third of the reigning unholy trinity champions, Brooklyn Joker. I feel like I'm getting tongue tied. Ay, ay, ay. Carnival. Oh, boy. <laughs> Thank goodness he's got his clothes back on. <laughs> Coming out next at six foot three, weighing two hundred and fifty pounds from Portland, Oregon. 
he is one third of the unholy trinity champions ripper spring heel And coming out, last but not least, F5 foot 10, 65 pounds, from Omaha, Nebraska. He is a former Bad Moon Rising champion, two-time blackout champion, and one-third of the reigning Unholy Trinity champions, the Anor Azriel. This is first blood elimination. Real with the stunner on the Ripper. Joker sends Ripper into the corner. And Joker gets knocked down by Asriel. Asriel going for the steel steps. Joker with a kick to the face of Ripper. No blood. Blocked by Ripper. Super kick by Asriel to Ripper. Now, Azriel is a series of strikes and then a drop kick to the legs of Joker. Ripper has a hold of Azriel. Suplex. Shot to the face. Kick to the midsection on Joker. Ripper has him up. Joker out the bat, uh, reverses it. Into a slam onto the back of Rip of Ripper, who rolls out of the ring just to go for those steel steps, but unable to utilize them. And some type of stunning move on the Ripper. Elbow to the back of Joker by Asriel. Hip toss on Joker. And then Asriel knocked down by Ripper. Tilt a whirl maneuver onto Ripper by Joker. Kick to the midsection on Asriel. Lock up. Asriel set gut first into one of the announce tables. Then into the, uh, the ring post. And Asriel with the elbow shots in the midsection of Ripper. Grapple from behind. Joker sends Asriel clear across the floor. And then Ripper sends Joker clear across the floor. And then picks up Asriel. Asriel out the back with the chop lock. As Joker grabs the sledgehammer from underneath the ring. 
Lock up. Kick to the midsection. And a DDT on the Asriel. No blood. And Ripper goes after Joker. Joker sends him into one of the announce tables. And Asriel sends Joker back into the ring. Ripper follows. Joker into the ropes, over, head toss. Whoa! Asriel using rip your face off on Ripper. Huh. Guess one of those things when you're trios partners. Ripper slams him back first. Oh, sets him up. Oh, boy. Brain buster! But still no blood. Snap suplex by Joker. I mean, that's the... Uh, it... Actually, a version of the night... Uh, that's the night walk. That Asriel has been granted permission, a, ble a blessing to use by the East Coast Baxter and Morger Nightwalker. And I guess Ripper has his own version of the move. But interesting, kind of like a tit for tat. Because Asriel used the rip your face off. And the Billy Goat's curse. Submission onto Ripper. Not going to do anything, but just do damage to maybe help bust him open. Now, Ripper stomping a mud hole into Azrael. Lock up, kick to the midsection. As Azrael rolls out of the ring, clothesline line into the corner on Ripper. Joker, series of strikes to the midsection in the face, lifts him up high and drops him. Grabs a sledge at the shovel. And that and wax Asriel as Asriel's grabbing the steel steps. Asriel trying to fire back. Back kick to the face of Joker. And stops Ripper from uh, using the stop sign and uses it himself on Ripper. Roll through. Side kick to the face. Now Joker sent towards the steel steps, leaping neck breaker onto Ripper by Asriel. Asriel grabbing the steel steps as Joker grabs Ripper, has him up. Power bomb. I ain't gonna bust him open. Swing blade, roll through, drop kick to the face of Joker. Asriel sent back into the ring. Jo uh, Ripper. Sent towards the barricade. Then into the barricade. And Joker goes into the ring to work on Asriel. Sling blade, roll through. Rock kick. Kick in the mid about tried to kick him in the midsection, but did not work. Elevated belly to back suplex by Joker. Now Ripper. Has Joker up. Walks him around. Snake Eyes into the corner. Asriel with the silver bullet. Still no blood on either move. Oh, up kick out of the corner as Asriel came running. Drop kick to Joker. Out of the ring he goes. Oh, Asriel has Ripper up. The Night Walk. Asriel. Roll through. Super kick to the face of Joker. Joker firing back with shots to the face. Hooks him up. Letting the blood drain to the head. And drops him with that delayed suplex. 
Ripper coming around with the sledgehammer, but Joker stopping him. A kick to the face by Ripper. Asriel grabbing the shovel. Wax Ripper in the back. And Asriel just eliminated Ripper. Down to Asriel and Joker. Joker has Asriel up. Power bomb. Slams him onto the back of his head. Roll through. Lifts him up and slams him down. Lifts up Asriel again, slams him down. Oh, hand round the throat. And Asriel with the sh elbow shot to the face. Sh elbow shot to the back of Joker. Knee drop to the back. Another knee drop to the back. It's in the midsection. section. Lifts up Joker, and Joker's able to sh go out the back with a chop block. Boot to the face of Asriel. Oh, what's that? If Joker have in mind? No laughing matter, and that is it. Your winner of the match is Brooklyn Joker. A member of the Demon Gods to outlast them all. Ripper had the majority of the best, but Joe. And now for our main event. It's just the members of Desolation's turn to have a First Blood Elimination match. Leo thinking Paul or Atticus for the win. I'm just going to simply stay unbiased. Huh? Basically, family for the win. That's the best I can do. <laughs> The only reason he sh he's not wearing black and green is because he's not in a mixed tag match with you. That's why, Celine. 
but welcome to the stream! Coming out first at six foot ten, weighing three hundred and twenty pounds from the outer circles of hell. He is a two time unholy trinity champion, the heir to darkness, Paul You Taker. I believe I have downloaded Paul. For 24, and I think he's just wearing green and black for 24. Coming out at six foot three, weighing two hundred and sixty pounds from Omaha, Nebraska. He is a three time Bad Moon Rising champion, a former Unholy Trinity champion, and the reigning Blackout champion, the Chaos Reaper, Atticus Black. Coming out next, at 5 foot 11, weighing 245 pounds, from Valhalla, he is a former Bad Moon Rising champion, a former Blackout champion, and a former Unholy Trinity champion, Damien Richards.
coming out, last but not least. At six foot six, weighing two hundred and twenty six pounds, from the outer circles of hell, he is a former Unholy Trinity champion and the reigning Bad Moon Rising champion, Killian Utaker. we go. We ain't going after Paul. Atticus and Killian going at it. Kills the world backbreaker. Damien going after Atticus. Atticus out the back with the chop block. Basically, it's going to be going after everybody to try and make them bleed. Damien sending in the steel steps. Oh, that's someone bleed. Tilt the roll maneuver. Or ends up dropping Atticus. Selene's upset about with all about something. I don't know what. That's between the two of them. Atticus and Killian battling on the outside. Jawbreaker to Damien on the inside. Backbreaker. Into a pump kick on Damien. All set into the corner. Set up in the tree of woe by Damien. And Killian coming into the mix now. Arm drag on Damien and Paul getting out of the corner there. Head scissors on Damien who rolls out. Atticus now back in the ring. Paul. Lifts up to up Killian and Killian was able to counter with that arm drag. It's going to take a bit before somebody ends up getting busted open. Would you rather I just put you in the green attire all the time from now on? Because I was specifically told, I believe, by your mama to only put you in the green attire when you're in mixed tags with, with Celine. Because that's who I got the attire from the last time, for 23. And listen to your faction mate. Focus on the match. <laughs> I mean, this is a training ex It's kind of like a training exercise.
me if you want if uh, 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 let me know if you just want the green and black attire for tw uh, for the rest of my time in 23. Simple as that. If it means that much to you. Like Atticus eliminated Killian. Oh, I know. Who the limit? Whoa. Who eliminated whom? It's down to Paul and Damien now. Uh, looks like Killian got eliminated and Atticus got eliminated. But. but All right, all right, all right, Paul. Killian eliminated Atticus, and Atticus eliminated Kill. Damien eliminated Atticus, and Atticus eliminated Killian. is Paul Utaker. Now I'm just waiting for this chat to come up. Paul and yes, we're tied for the majority of the bets. And Paul got the win. Oh, wow, wow, wow. <laughs> oh, boy, oh, boy, guys. Anywho, <laughs> that's been our show for tonight. I want to thank everybody who stopped in for the live episode. Whether for a minute, an hour, the whole freaking show. <laughs> Those two, oh my god. Oh, fighting like brothers, oh boy. Anywho, I want to thank everybody who stopped in for the live episode, whether for a minute, an hour, the whole freaking show. Much appreciated. I want to thank everybody who will be catching this on the replay. Appreciate all the love and support y'all been giving me since day one of Blood Moon Wrestling Federation. I want to thank the love of my life, the Chaos Reaper Atticus Black, for being in the booth with me as long as he was able. Much appreciated. the hell? Wait a minute. How about we do this one-on-one -on -one next time? No, that's Kelly's job. I've got my own ass to kiss, and hers is more... Oh, my God! <laughs> Paul! <laughs> Anywho! <laughs> if you're new to the channel, if you like what you see, hit the like button, hit the big red button to subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications so you know whenever Blood Moon Wrestling Federation goes live. 
and please leave a comment. And if it's ju um, just to say great show, which I appreciate so much in the chat there. Oh boy. Oh boy. One on one KO in a cell. Hell in a cell. Ooh. I'll book it. I'll book it, guys. If that's what you want, I'll book it. Oh my goodness. Anywho. If, uh, if you're, uh, I do welcome constructive criticism. Just don't be a dick about it. This is about everybody having a good time and growing as a YouTuber and as a channel. I'm not perfect by any means. I don't claim to be. Just be kind with your criticism. That's all I ask. Okay, our next show will be this coming Wednesday at 1 p.m. Central, 2 p.m. Eastern. For our women's show, Sanguine Seductresses. Until then, beware of the blood moon. <laughs> Nighty night.